<sighs> Good morning, Florida Panther fans. On February 8th, after much consternation and much discussion and much debate, I finally spent, thanks to the generosity of everybody on the streams, I finally spent the $1,200 on the cameras and the equipment to start my fishing channel because I figured, well, I'm going to have plenty of time in April and May and June to float away on my kayak with my GoPros attached to my chest and catch fish floating out there in the 70 degree weather. I made a video in my front yard and announcing the channel. That's that's what I've done. <laughs> and I've got I've got a I've got a GoPro. So I mean the, the equipment is like scattered all over the house because I've like just well let me just put this here for now. I'll put this here for now. I'll put this here for now. I've been fishing to the river like twice for 15 minutes and my hockey team just refuses to lose. And I'm okay with that. Oh, poor baby. <laughs> <I did. laughs> Good morning, Stu. Morning, my man. So you changed the name. I mean, I'm all, all, it's always going to be flying fluffy hockey to me. But for technicality purposes, welcome, everybody, to Flying Fluffy Sports, the number one Panther fan podcast in the world. And this is, you know, my... Uh, my little cow's corner where I give shout outs to people. So the first one goes to Mark. Mark, we got that juju going, driving down to the games. It's always great to, you know, be hanging out with cool people and, you know, diehard Panther fans like myself. We talk about the game. Eric and I were just talking about like pregame rituals. I haven't changed the shirt since the start of the series. And, um, so anyway, Mark, thank you. Hector, my brother, thanks, you know, for uh, having me join you in your seats. Just, my, yeah. yeah, we have so much fun during the game. And, you know, he's new to the game, so I'm kind of helping him out, you know, as, as far as zeroing in on players. Yeah. You know, the players. You've explained to him that this is not normal, right? <laughs> no, I was, for us, for us, for I, us. I've, I've explained to him about zeroing in, like there's a particular player that you know that I've been kind of hard on. Right. And uh, no, I didn't get a hard on. I <laughs> but um, he's he's now seeing the things that that I've been talking about. Right. So he, he gets it. Yeah. And of course, I got to thank the Queen Dana. Um, Tomorrow's going to be, hopefully, hopefully we won't make the same mistake we made at Toronto, you know, getting up and losing the lead and losing right. the game and then having to schlep back to Toronto. So that's right. that. Now, a lot of you during the streams have asked to meet up with me. So I tell everybody in between the first and second, I will be in front of the bar across from Panterland. Now, I got to tell you guys, it's a long walk for me. It's pretty much all the way around the arena. And, like, nobody shows up. So, but I do have to throw out, Heather came by and said hi to me. Well, if nobody showed up, how did Heather show up? Well, I'm saying the people that. I thought you were a salesman, bro. The people that, the people that make the comments on the stream. I won't embarrass them by mentioning their names, but. They're the ones that are always saying it and never show up. So there's a there's a fan of the channel said he loves our content and stuff. And I apologize, bro, because I don't even know if I asked your name. All right, so that's that. Now we got Ant. Now we got some new people <laughs> who are who are going to be new subscribers. And Anthony and Zach hit that subscribe button. And I had a, a couple of young ladies sitting in front of me. Viviana, I remember your name, but I'm so embarrassed because I forgot the other young lady's name, and she was really nice. At the end of the game, she gave me popcorn, and popcorn's like was, was like my Xanax. A, a woman gave you food and you forgot her name? Yeah. Bro, bro, man, that's um, that's bad, man. Yeah. <laughs> I remember every woman that ever gave me a cookie, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, Anthony, yeah. have your brother Michael hit the subscribe <laughs> button, too. We want to get to 7,000, like, soon. Because we're on, on the road. We're getting to, there. 
I mean, when we win the cup, we'll hopefully have 10,000 people. And I'm really glad that you guys like our content. Um, like Absolutely. I said, we, we are the number one Panther fan podcast in the world. There's nobody that does what we do. There's nobody that gets special guests on with us like like we do. Eric puts out, uh, you know, a tremendous effort to give you guys daily Florida Panther content. So, you know, hats off to Eric and Kyle. Cannot go without mentioning Kyle. Who does yeah, I can't do this without Kyle. On the stream, whenever I need statistics, I go to Kyle. He's the man. He, he, yep. he just knows numbers. So, exactly. All right. So if I missed anybody, my apologies. Let's get to the game. Now, um, Reinhardt scored a goal. That's the re- that's the game review. That's it. <laughs> well, let's talk. Let's talk. About, <laughs> let's talk about the first thing for those Holy that crap. are not fortunate enough to go. The crowd was yeah. in, first of all, it was a packed house. Always great to see twenty thousand people in the building. From the moment the Panthers hit the ice for pregame, it was crazy, insane. Yeah, you know. Loud and proud, I call it. Loud yeah. and proud. And, of course, as the game went on and Baba Brewski, Baba Brewski, whatever, did his thing, Bubba. the best was at the, towards the end of the game, the Bobby chance. Now, there was, only, yeah. there was only one other guy that we used to, you know, well, <coughs> it was Lou. It wasn't Bobby. But right. Anyway, so. We need to get that chant to be Bubba. Bubba uh-huh. just sounds so much better. And it's it's more. We need to get that chant to be Bubba. Okay. That just sounds. It just it just fits. You yeah. know what I'm. You know that's yeah. that's personal. That's personal so, opinion. <laughs> I mean, all you have to do is watch his post game. You know, like Randy said in the last video. Yeah. Bobrovsky's so humble, and he says basically the same thing. Thank mm-hmm. you, God, for putting me in this position. Thank you, boys, for you know doing your job. And but I mean. The guy's insane, and we've talked about this before the season started. Like, what are the key elements to winning the right. cup? And at the top of the list is goaltending. Yeah, you run into a hot goaltender like Patrick Roth, <coughs> like Andre Vasilevsky. Well, now we could put Sergey Bobrovsky up on that <coughs> list. Um, he but- made a. I I, I want to get it out before I forget because I watched it on the replay. Uh-huh. He made a, a toe save. Actually, it was with his skate, but it was so close that the toe of Bobrovsky's skate was behind the line. But he got it with the front part of his skate before the puck could cross the line. If I, There's no words for that. That is... What do you mean there's no words? There's no... It's there's Fantastic. No, nah, that's not... That's an insult to fantastic. Okay. All right. Fantastic a- times ten. <laughs> it, the saves he's making, it's it's just, I mean, and he's making them look so easy. That's yes, crazy. they're unbelievable yeah. saves. When you see the replay and you see things in slow motion, it's insane that he's you know his side to side movement, right? His, his going out. You know, not staying back in the net. His going out to cut the angles off. I mean, every facet of his game is clicking. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I also want to talk about Moses. That's that's his new name. Because Moses is just leading us to the promised land. Another assist. <laughs> I mean, he put it right on Reinhardt's tape. And within right. like two seconds, it was off his stick. And in the six by six box, yep. upper, upper, well, the goalie's right hand corner. Looking yeah. at, looking at the net, it's the upper left hand, but right. perfectly placed shot. And um, Carolina is just demoralized. You could see, yeah. If you looked at the, um, there's a clip that's gonna go viral. Yeah, it's it's um, gone viral. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's uh, Copenhagen, whatever the freaking guy's name. He's walking down the tunnel into the locker room and he smashes his stick in frustration. 
Yeah, Col- 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 the, the, the name I can't. I literally have a video out that's me trying to say his name for thirty seconds. <laughs> that <laughs> literally. <laughs> I think he's. I think he's number eighty-two. It's Col- I mean, Col- Ka- t- I forget yeah, it. Col- you know Col- who I'm talking. Col- Col- the M- they all end, all those friends. <laughs> I, 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 I can't say it except Sebastian Alvo. Right. <laughs> but I mean, you look at the post game with Brindamore. He doesn't know how to. He, he doesn't have any answers. Well, that's what that's what his post game was after game two. I mean, he he was up there, and basically his post game was like, I I we, I, we can't score. I we I don't play, know. Play, I mean, they play. Stu, we have scored two regulation goals in the last two games, and we won them both. I mean, if if the if the tables were reversed, I would be dead. Okay, there's no way I survived the reverse of this. I mean, what else is Carolina supposed to do? Yeah, They're... it's like it's like us last year in that fifty shot. Yeah, shut out by Vasilevsky. Right. right. I mean, right. Yeah. What are you supposed to do? And a right. lot of the shots have been perfect. Excuse me. Yeah. And he still made the save. I mean, listen. They. I think they hit the post at least twice last night. And so, brings me to my other element besides the refs, and we'll get into that, is puck luck. Mm -hmm. We had that one game where things didn't really go our way, but if you look, you know, um, just a compilation of all the games, almost every game has had that puck luck moment. Right, right. Where it could have gone either way. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I mean... There's really nothing, nothing negative to say about last night, other than losing Barky, and I still <laughs> he'll, he'll be all I right. Still don't see what happened to him. Could it have been maybe he got a bruised hip? I mean, he didn't get he didn't get rocked. Just was a check. So no, I mean, look, um, what Nerfa was talking about with the lower body thing was. When when we knew it was Barkov's hand, or at, when when they were talking about his injury before we knew it was his hand, right? Uh, Maurice refused to call it upper or lower body. So I don't know if they're playing semantics, if they're playing word games. Um, the fact that he was questionable to return, look, if in terms of last night's game, if it's something that he could go out there and injure further, you leave him out. In terms of tomorrow. If if the dude needs a game off, we got you, we got you. All right, we 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 put in somebody on that fourth line. We're so strong through the middle. We we can score goals without Barkoff. Where we lose it, where we lose a Barkoff is is his defense and his faceoff percentages. Right. Um, but I mean, if Bob is gonna play like this, let let Barkoff let him rest for a game because. If, if it's something that's been residual that keeps happening, which it probably is, if he can, if we can win game four without him, then he's going to get a full week I of rest. Agree. And so I say you roll the dice and just let him, let him heal, kind of like we did with Bennett. Remember with, with Bennett, we gave yeah. him that little bit of extra time and the rest of the team held, you know, held serve long enough. So Same, same thing we did with Bob. <clears throat> right, right, right. So, yeah, exactly. I, so I'm going to tell you the player that I would like to see, because I agree. Rest, give, give Barky a couple of days extra, you know, rest time. Now the rule, and again, not putting the cart before the horse, but let's say, you know, hopefully, God willing, whatever you want to say, we win the cup. The player to qualify to get your name on the cup has to play at least one playoff game right patrick hornquist he he can't i i thought the same thing but he can't man just he's he's not he can't do it well mark went to an event yesterday special yeah season two and he said that hornquist is is not wearing that yellow jersey anymore really yeah and we know we know i know from what randy's told me that he's been around the team Right for inspiration, and he's basically been part of the team without playing. Now, I'm just saying, maybe he's willing to risk it for a game. One game to get his name on the cup. 
I mean, he has his name on the cup with Pittsburgh. Right, yeah, but but, but... but I don't think any of the players would oppose that. It's just, a, and I don't even think Maurice, it's just a question of rolling the dice. Yeah, Yeah. I mean, that's a roll of the dice. I mean, I suppose, because I, I, I kind of immediately thought about it, and I thought, man, it's a, what I thought was it's a shame that Hornquist can't come in. I, I suppose that if he went to Maurice and said, hey, I, I put me in, coach. I could, I can, I can game it. I can give you a game. Yeah. The only, I, I, thing, the only thing is the style of play that we're playing. Well, that's, that's the concern, right? Is that yeah. can he, can he go out there and now if, if he's been out because he doesn't want to risk it versus having symptoms, you know what I mean? Maybe the reason he's been doing this is in just in case of an emergency yeah coach I'll, I'll put me in if if we need it you know if we get to a certain point so i'd be really really interested to see if that happens um i mean obviously we have dalpy we have uh the mackey thing we, you know we got players but we, we got guys sure but for sentimental reasons I would love like his last because I think he's going to retire at the end of the year. Yeah, sure, I think sure. The, Pan the Panthers are going to give him a front office job, probably working with Sean Thornton. Right. He he is loved by everybody in the organization. Yeah. But man, would I love to see that subplot right. story where uh, right. You know, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, no, that's a good that's a good interesting point. You know. Um, <clears throat> there's a couple of other guys. If Hornquist can't do it, and Dalpe has played a game, um, you know, a couple of other guys that did contribute during the season that you might want to throw in there is Smith is still around, and and Danisenko too. He 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 played a number of games. Casey so, Fitzgerald was out there for right. the three warm ups. So. Yeah, but you know so, we're not we're not going to put him in at forward. So yeah. Um, anyway, um, yeah. So anyway, you know, it was just a little side. side no, no, that's 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 because I agree with you. Murray should give Barkov, you know, give him give him that game off, and like you say, if we if we do our job and close these guys out, we'll have a week. Well, for, everybody, preparation. Everybody and, except for Ekblad, Maurice has been very very conservative with. And they've spent – how many nights was Bennett and Barkov game-time decision? For like two weeks, right? Yeah. So he's been, he's been really conservative about these guys. So I have a feeling, you know, I mean, look, most teams, most teams would take Bennett, Lundell, Lusterinen down the middle and not blink. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah. We, I mean, you can't replace Barkoff, what he does, but we can we can still win without Barkoff. We just and, we, and, it, and we've proven we've done that. Hey, listen, right. if, if Barkoff was Forsling, he 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 would have been out there the you know ten minutes after going <laughs> yeah. in the locker room. Yeah, Barkoff uh, Forsling is just grows and goes back in the locker room, grows a new hand, yeah, and <laughs> give me a shot and let me get out there. Right. That's that's not to demean Barkov's toughness. It's just Forsling. We've seen Forsling go off the ice, and we're going. That's two weeks, bro. And yeah. and he's back for the next period. <laughs> he, he's, the six, he's the six million dollar man. Who knows what they? He's the yeah. bionic man. He's incredible. He's, yep. Yep. So, yep. Anyway, another clip that I saw this morning was you know the Panthers, and I've seen other teams do this, but the Panthers have a board. Yeah. Get up in the locker room. It's yeah, yeah. The cup, and then there's holes for pucks. Right, right. And as they win games, they give the player the star of the game, their yeah. choice for star of the game. And surprisingly, last night, mm -hmm. they got Mark Stahl as the, <coughs> yeah. as the star of the game. He's been insane, man. I mean, look. Steady, steady, <coughs> steady. Yeah. I mean, every every everybody, everybody, has just been at the top of their game. And, and, and Bob, Bob has given the defense a lot of, you know, credit for his right. success because they're blocking shots and they're they're clearing the. Man, man, how many games did I tell you 
when you know last year with Uyghur and Ekblad and even Cam not Campbell um Yandel that they, they, they right. leave guys all alone in the crease. I don't right. think we've said that once. This no, series. not the play. The forwards are coming back. You know, I talked about it last night in the recap. I mean, even Duke. He, I'm, I, I'm Duke is intercepting passes in the middle of the crease and clearing the zone. Duke and Verhage have been coming yeah. back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Two, two players you wouldn't think. I mean, we obviously know the Lundells and the Lusteranans are going to do that, and Lumberg, of course. But, um, you know, Verhage and Duke are, you know, they're offensive weapons, and they're yeah. – they're expanding their game, their two-way game, and it's great to see. Yep. I mean, yep. what's really great to see is shift after shift. After shift, these guys are going 100%. Right. The and you could team, The whole team. The whole team. The whole team. And you saw it. You, you saw Caroline. And look, I'm not saying the series is over. This is not what I'm saying. But in terms of last night, the push that – we expected when Carolina got under five minutes, it didn't materialize. You could see they were so out of sync, out of sorts. How many offsides in those last five minutes? They just were just agri frustrated, aggravated, ag all of it, both of it, all of it at the same time. And who yeah. can blame them? Who who can blame them? This is this is obscene. What's what's happening? And you know, of course, all the Twitter people after the game are posting all the analytics that show how horrible that we're playing, and you know how we should be getting beat goal expected goals and and all of this stuff. All, all, all the, there's only one number that means anything. And and what people Wins leave and losses. What what's what you don't see in those statistics is what the Panthers are doing is saying okay we've got a one goal lead and we're gonna we're gonna we're, we're gonna win with that so you know there's not a lot of offensive zone time and a lot of offensive chances and everything because we're not playing that game so this the statistics are looking like it's skewed it looks like Carolina is dominating because they're getting all the chances and we're not but we're playing that style we're saying we're going to focus on, yeah, you might get a chance, but we're going to stop you. We're going to block the shot. Bob's going to make the save. We're going to make a steal. We're not playing offensive hockey until we absolutely have to, and that's why we've been winning the overtime games because, you know, except for the game one, right, except for that game, when it comes time for overtime, we're saying, okay, we're, we're turning it on offensively, and we're winning the game. Yeah. And on, on paper – like I said last night, it doesn't. When you write it out, it doesn't sound like a good strategy. Like get a one goal lead and 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 hold on. And that doesn't sound like a good strategy. But when your goalie is playing the way Bob is, if he let if he does happen to let one in, you just turn the offense back on and we go get another one. And it's worked. It's it's yeah. working. Well, it's working. I personally would rather see the Panthers try and build on their lead. I could see the shutdown mode with 10 minutes left, but up until then, they should continue to attack. And I tell you why they're not doing it. Because the, the Panthers rely on their defense and, and they're pinching. Right. And Sean Maurice has said, look, don't pinch unless you're 100% sure that you're going to get to that puck. Because the, right. the you know the worst thing that could happen in situations like that are odd man rushes. So. Right. The only goal that they've scored in the last two games was on a mistake that Barkov. No, that wasn't actually the goal. That was that that was that crazy save that Bob made. That all that almost was a goal, where Barkov went for the poke check just a little bit too soon, made that mistake, and then they got that chance. Yep. But that was that ridiculous blocker save that yep. that that Bubba made. Yeah. But. But yeah, so the point I'm making is the stats do not show what's going on out, out, on out there on the ice. It's not like <clears throat> it's not like we're trying to play run and gun and they're shutting us down. We are. This is the style that we're playing. We're, that's that's you know it's we are, on purpose. With the key to our success, let's just say in the playoffs, because we couldn't sustain it the whole year. No. 
the teams can't match our physicality. We're, right. We're, we're punishing players. Forget about the fact that, you know, nobody wants to get hit. And that, let me let me get rid of the puck as fast as I got it because I don't want to get hit. Right. But it takes its toll on you. Yep. And we're dumping and chasing against their defenders. I mean, the guy they targeted last night was Burns. And I'm, yeah. you know, they were punishing him. <laughs> and, of course, right. then you got the instigator that's in your face. Like, you know, he – it's like he he never leaves the ice because every time I know every time there's a scrum he's right in the middle of it. I know and I know it's, it's great. Yeah, no, it, it it's 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 true. Um, but to your point about the pinching and everything, I've I'm I've, I'm watching it and I'm seeing all the guys do it, especially especially Kachuk and Ekblad. I'm seeing them being very very purposeful at the blue line. Of if it if it's unless it looks like it's a guaranteed grade A chance, they're just skating backwards to, to play defense. I, I'm watching it over and over and over again, yeah. and I'm fine with that because it's 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 working. Yeah, you know, Ekblad's been very aggressive. The only thing I'd like him to do less of is stick handle. We had a couple of guys doing it a little bit last night. You know, yeah, try to split two he- defenders. Because he he lost it a few times, I count let's just say twice, where you know he pulled the Uyghur trying to stick handle by two guys instead of just right. flipping it out or getting it up the boards. I mean, look what happened to freaking Ryan Suter, a guy that's been in the league forever. He might have cost Vegas. I mean, uh, he might have cost Dallas the series. Right. I mean, forget right. about the game. With a stupid blind, you know, back pass behind. Burns did it the other night, and we right, scored. right, <clears throat> yeah. So it only takes a second to make the wrong decision, you know. Right. And that's why that's why Kachuk is as great as he is. I put him up in that category with, you know, Gretzky, who, yeah. you know, don't forget we're watching the game from up high. Right, right, right. We He's can guys, see. Yeah, these guys are at ice level, right? And and they just see the plays develop, and yeah. and you know, and they have patience. Like you know, the Barkov goal the other night, it was a beautiful thing because he was patient. Right. He didn't he didn't rush it. You know, he didn't rush a shot. Now that's what's happening with Carolina. Yeah. Like yeah. they're just they're just trying to get it on net because they have such a small you know, a small time frame to do that. Right. And maybe they're not picking the spots that they would normally pick if they had more time. It doesn't matter. Bob's, you know, Bob's See, he's just seeing everything. So, you know, the big thing for me is deflections. Right. Like what happened on that goal the other night. Yeah. Deflections and like a, a rebound. Right. And I haven't seen a lot of those big, rebounds like uh there was one in the i can't remember i think it was in the toronto series where it was a really big rebound and right i just blasted it <coughs> blasted his net. so you can't say enough about bubba he's just been lights out and what's really nice is that all the commentators yes yeah. start they're, well they're past starting to i was going to yeah. say that they're starting to give us some respect. Um, yeah. Nobody can deny that we're the team to beat right now. But yeah, and that's that's, it's, boy, how did it, I'm goosebumps from that? It's just like because it's not it's it's true, and that is, we've never been in this position. Now we have to finish this, and that's the last thing I want to talk about because this team has been really really good. At, you make a mis- we make a mistake once, we make a mistake once, but then we we we've been really good about learning from things and making sure that don't happen again. And we did that. We did it against Toronto. Had to trudge our asses all the way back, right? And I'm sure there doesn't need to be anything said in that locker room. I'm sure those guys know the last thing they want to do is give the Canes any hope. And then have to go back to Carolina for Game Five, because 
what we had to do to win both games in Carolina. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, we, 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 we need to finish this. We need Absolutely. to finish this. 100%. Yep. 100%. And I think they might have learned from their lesson because don't forget in that game, weren't we up 2 nothing? Um, And Nylander... I, yeah, to- yeah, yeah. It was... No, no, no. That the game we lost to Toronto, we were we we lost two one. Okay. I think I think yeah. So I think no, they, I'm they talking s- about game four against Toronto. Here. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. We we lost it two one. That's 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 the only game we've lost since yeah. since game five against Boston. The only game we've lost is that two to one game four to Toronto. All right. <laughs> I mean, I would know, like to see I would like to see us put up you know three four goals. Five goals, whatever. Do we I even have five goals all series? Yeah. I, Let's see, I three, two. Maybe and, in the Boston, one of the Boston games. We have we have six goals all. No, I mean I mean combined, we've only got six goals so far through the series. Yeah, it's pretty amazing, <laughs> like you said, that we haven't gotten more than two goals in a game. And well, aside from the what was it, the three-two win. Yeah, yeah. The se- it took us seven periods. Yeah. Well, what's, <laughs> what's really amazing is is Bobrovsky. <laughs> Can't call him four goal Bob now. Well, maybe over a course of a series. He's just been. <laughs> he. He. he and they even asked him. You know, you feel like you're in the zone. I mean, what that. To me, that's a stupid question. Of course, right. he's, in <laughs> he's in. He's not uh, in the zone. He's in a different dimension. Okay, yeah, he's, in the, he's in the twilight zone. I mean, it's pretty yeah. obvious <laughs> that he's in another space right now. <laughs> yeah, where everything is coming together. His yep. mind, right? His, his, you know, his his body, his his thing. I mean, like I said, he's coming out to meet the shooters. Right. He's uh he's not going down in that flop that you know butterfly right. flop thing because you know the, the 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 way to beat these guys is upstairs. Yeah. Um, as we saw last night with Reinhardt shot, I mean that 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 was a thing of beauty, and it was on the power play eight seconds into the power. Yes. Play. Yeah. They didn't waste any time. So. Oh, um so we only took, according to what I saw last night, correct me if I'm wrong, people, we took two penalties. I think yeah. there were I think there could have been at least another two, maybe three. That that uh that high stick at the end of the game. Oh that you know that, that could have been called. What right. I didn't like was got to spare embellished that. And I think it was I like that, an ins- it was like an insult to the ref. Yeah, the ref was standing right there. <laughs> right, right. You ain't getting away with that one. I think that's why he didn't call it because right. that's, that's what I'm th- saying. This, yeah, this the stick hit his shield and Gossifer goes to his mouth. You know, two seconds well, late. He threw his yeah, head back like he had been yeah. shot. You know, right, right, right. No, and I think that's why he didn't get called because I guess they maybe it. Maybe the conversation was we can either call nothing or we could call a high sticking and embellishment. Right, but what you I know? don't understand is we scored an empty net on that. Well, he had blown the whistle though. Oh, okay. <coughs> they ble- they blew the whistle. Okay, okay, that explains yeah. it. Yeah. So. so, which is all right. Six of one half dozen of another. You know what I mean? Ain't nothing gonna come. Ain't nothing gonna come easy at this point. So. And the, the last thing I'll say is, so. You know, again, just as I have my pregame ritual, I have my postgame ritual was, you know, Mark gives me the key to the car, and, you know, he takes his time leaving the arena. I'm, right. out, the, I'm out the door. Yeah. And I'm at the car smoking my postgame, you know, cigar. Right. So the crowd leaving the arena oh. was giddy. I bet. You know, I bet chance of uh let's go panthers and just everybody was and it's great thing to see because man how many games have i left that arena where we've Uh we've blown the game and right you know people are just like really no look and and that's the last thing i'll say as well is that i'm sure not just the lesson that they learned about toronto but to win the ticket to the stanley cup at home 
for these guys on the ice. It's 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 we need to do this. We need to do this. Yep. Okay. Yep. We need we need to do this, and I suspect that what what we would all like to see, of course, if they can come out in that first period, if they can somehow manage to get two. I I mean I know that that's like crazy talk. Oh my God, two goals in a period. But if they could somehow manage to do that, I believe that's going to be the dagger in Carolina's heart. At least one in the first five minutes or so. Right. 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 Like start the game off. Like let's just we're, we're putting you to sleep, guys. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna yeah. euthanize you. <laughs> you know, we, we're gonna make it painless. We're just gonna right. Yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna destroy you in the first few minutes. Right. Right. Send, send you a message that you cannot beat us. Right. And you're gonna basically give up because it's it's futile to right. think that you're gonna come back in this series and beat us. And with that, I will yep. say, I do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, I'll have the podcast out earlier than I did yesterday. My apologies. I hit submit. I hit publish, and I went to the river, and I guess we had like an internet flash when I pressed publish, and it didn't publish till later. So I'll make sure today it goes right. Um, and then Kyle and I will be back tonight, uh, 730. Was, the stream starts 730, and that will be uh, – oh, last thing, yeah, Dallas and Vegas. Um this has nothing to do with the hockey end of it, but we need Dallas to at least win a game. We need Dallas to win a game because if we finish this Wednesday and Vegas finishes it Thursday, there's a decent chance Matthias will miss game one of the finals because it happened too soon. He gets here on the 30th. So for purposes of Matthias, for one game, Regardless, we're, I'm I'm wearing my Dallas jersey tonight. Yeah, I mean I'm right. I'm all in I'm all in for Dallas. I mean I've made it known. Yeah. I, I hate right. Vegas. I hate right. them with a passion. Right, uh, but it's it's got nothing to do with the hockey. I want to make sure um, with everything that's gone. The the miracle of scheduling his vacation, and he's going to be here for the Stanley Cup Finals. I want to make sure he gets all of them. So all the juju to Dallas tonight. Just they just need one. I just need one. So, all right. We'll see you again tonight. Hit the subscribe button to you new people. <laughs> it takes a second. Appreciate it, guys. And obviously, you know, the like button if you like the video. And comments. Love reading. Yeah, I'm going to sit I'm gonna sit later today and get to some of the comments. I've been backed up. So, okay. all right, guys. We'll see you later.